Hello guys and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to set a static IP address in Windows 10. Okay so the first thing that we need to do is to open the um, adapter settings, network adapter settings. So we can get we can get there um, using several um, routes but uh, I'm going to right click on the um, icon and on the network icon here in the taskbar and then I'm going to click on open network and sharing center and then I'm going to click on change adapter settings and then I'm going to right click on my network adapter uh, this might be different in your case you might have several network adapters like for example you might have an Ethernet adapter, also a wireless adapter. So make sure you uh, select the right adapter. So I'm going to click Properties. And then inside Properties, I want to um, select Internet uh, Protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4, and then I'm going to click Properties. And then in Property, notice that um, by default, it's set to obtain an IP address automatically. So I want to change that. When uh, it is set to obtain IP address automatically, Windows 10 is going to um, obtain an IP address from a DHCP server. This is a type of server and that uh, a user uh, that basically handles um, IP management for computers in the network. So I'm going to click use the following IP address. Um, here is where you're going to enter your IP address. Which IP address uh, are you going to use? You cannot use any IP address. Um, you have to know a couple of things here. Um, for example, you need to know what is your network uh, subnet mask and what is your network address. And uh, we can obtain that information from the um, from the command line. In order to do that, uh, we are going to press the uh, Windows key and the letter R. So we open this uh, run uh, dial box and then we are going to type CMD and press enter. Once the um, terminal open, I'm going to do IP config backslash or forward slash, depends on your taste, all. And I'm going to press enter. And this is going to give me quite a few uh, information um, but what I want is the Ethernet adapter uh, I'm looking for my Ethernet adapter again in your case you might be looking for your wireless adapter so you're gonna have to change accordingly um, notice that my IP version 4 it is 10.0.2.15 and this is the one that I'm getting from the uh, DHCP server this is dynamically assigned and this is my subnet mask right here which means that I'm using a class C network. So my network address is this section here. So this section here, uh, I cannot change. The only thing that I can change is the last number, the last octet. In this case, the last decimal number. Um, and so, in other words, that you also you cannot uh, randomly assign uh, any number for this uh, last digit. You have to assign a number that is outside the DHCP uh, server range or address of assignment of address. Meaning that if another computer has the same IP address that you are going to assign to your computer, then you're going to create a conflict within the within the network. So make sure that the address that you assign is outside the, uh, the uh, range of address that the DHCP uh, uh, has to assign to the network. So once you got all that information, go back into the, uh, into the configuration tab. And actually, let me leave this open. And you can type that information. So I'm going to say 10, 10 .0 and here I know that the um, that the dot 10 
IP is not being assigned. So I'm going to use that one. And for the subnet mask, I'm going to use the subnet, subnet mask here. 255.255.0. And then uh, for the default gateway, also that information I can find it here. If you take a look here where it says default gateway, my default gateway is 10.0.2.2, and that's the one that I'm going to use. 10.0.2.2. And uh, in theory, this is all your computer needs in order to communicate with the network. The, the only problem is that you will only be able to communicate using IP address. So if your computer needs to resolve from, uh, from host names to IP, then we also need to add a DNS server, which also we can find here. Uh, notice here that we have our DNS server, which is 192.168.1.1. And that's the one that I'm going to add here. And uh, for the second DNS, I'm not going to add anything, so I'm going to click OK, close. And uh, we should be able to test communication at this point. So in order to test communication, we are going to use the ping command. In order to ping another computer uh, inside our network, a good, uh, a good rule in order to test communication is to ping the default gateway. The default gateway is a router, uh, which is our gateway into the uh, into the internet, into the outside network. Meaning that if we have connection with the router, uh, most likely we have connection with the rest of the network. So this is a good uh, way to establish uh, to test communication. So I'm going to say 10.0.2.2 and press enter. And as you can see, I'm getting reply from 2.2, meaning that we have successfully uh, set and configured a static IP uh, in Windows 10. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, as always, remember to subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial.